everyone welcome back to dragon age origins now where we last left off we're now we've now left the city we're now at a point where we're just sitting at a campfire enjoying ourselves and we have food can i eat the food can i eat this delicious food no darn it okay so now that we have a chance of uh what do you need talking i'd like to ask Stay you away. something what can a Templar do exactly? Tell me about the Green Ones. How did you become a Green One? So you said that Arl Eamon raised did you? Did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. That's not what I remember you telling Flemeth. Well, if you're going to go and pay attention to the facts, then fine, fine. Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when wow. I was very young. Our Lehman wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Why did he send you off the Chantry? Our Lehman eventually married a young woman from Orlais, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, then you, Arlesa, resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Uh, wasn't it inappropriate for Arl to raise an orphan? What an awful thing to do to a child. You were pretty luckier than most orphans. I suppose you're right. I wasn't raised as the Isle's son, though, if you're picturing that. I slept in hay, out in the stables, not on silk sheets. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Arl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there, and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming. And you think I Arl think will help so, us? Yes. This news we've heard about him being sick disturbs me, though. I wonder if we won't discover that Loghain has come to the same conclusion as we have. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story. Okay, so that now that we learned a little bit about Alistair, let's little Yes, Liliana. I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. The vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. You dreamed of the play? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rosebush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. Uh, did you hear... And this made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? The blight is the Maker's punches. Will he, we defy? I suppose I can sit by either. That is why you are a Grey Warden. Come, there's a blight to stop. Yeah, okay. Alright, we have uh, Liliana's approval here. 
Oh, so my, you little... Did you just jump me? Are you harassing me, my dog? harassing your dog? I should say it's the other way round. Your furry friend here took offence at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. There's hardly any blood drawn. Still, he shouldn't have. It was just a warning. He could have taken the hand off. Don't you think I don't know it? Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Aww. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. No, oh, he's not like it. You can tell the difference. For all you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Hey, don't mess with my... Don't listen to Alistair. He's full of rubbish. If you had it and didn't know it, it probably was tasty. I'd never feed you another human It's not cannibalism if he's eating it, you know. Can I... Oh, look at what your fool dog placed in my pack. <laughs> a putrid, half-eaten hare is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. It's a thought that counts. He means well. Oh, dirty mongrel can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. Don't do it again. You're a war dog, not a nursemaid. You heard the lady. It was a gift. You can't just throw it away I like that. I just did. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. Aww. I think you heard his feelings. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative. I can tell. I do it too. What? <laughs> what is with these party members and playing with my dog? I'm gonna watch them. You are a true warrior and worthy of respect. Aww. Aww. Trying to find something. He goes back to digging. It's going to take some time, you know. He continues digging. Well, good luck with that then. So this ignores you and keeps digging. Aww. Oh, he jolies. He wags his tail happily. I want to pet him. Aww. I love little Solis. He's so cute. Okay, these are just... That, that, that. That, I think. A lot of control ones. Goodness. Mark all his red... Flip, that's a lot. Alright. Everybody, let's go on a quest. Let's go on a quest. Let's go on a quest. Go on a quest. Let's go on a quest. Uh, talk to the dwarves. Talk to the dwarves, I think, is the only thing we haven't done yet. Why are we stopping? I think we should talk for a moment. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? I need to know if I can trust I you. I am Kunari. Back. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. I've never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your no. people. Please. People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of 
The elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. You said you were in the I army. Am. Have you ever fought I in a war? I have always fought in war, elf. What do you mean by that? My people have been at war since the moment we set foot in the Northern Islands. So the Quinari don't do come now. from the Nines. Where do you come Somewhere from? Else. Can you be more no. specific? I was born in Saharon. Of the land we came from, I know nothing, not even its name. I do not see how this matters. Saharon and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. True, let's As you go. Wish. Let's go talk to the dwarves. Ah, good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic, at your service. Once again, I saw your yeah. camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? You're free to say just... Just mind Wonderful. yourselves. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Cool. Let's see what kind of enchantments Hello. he has. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. I have no idea either. What enchantments can, can he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. I want something enchanted. Enchantment! Okay. So, let's go with a, uh... I have no items to enchant? Darn it. Okay. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Okay, I want to... I'm sure where... you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Oh, he's giving us a discount? How nice of him. Ooh, yes. Give me some of those. Give me some of those. Uh, let me get some, some of these. And let's see here. I don't think anybody's using that. I love it. I have to give these away. Okay, and about it. Hmm. I'm gonna go for that one. And think that's all I wanna go for. And then let's go with enchantment. I want some enchantment. Enchantment. Oh, how do I enchant then? That's not nice. Where's the lady? Oh yeah, there's more gone. What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask if you. If you must. How did you become a shape changer? I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeths, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. <laughs> Your mother has been doing this for a long time, Changing then. her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? 
Can you change another human form as animal well? Is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows oh. one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Can anybody become Anyone a Anyone with sufficient changer? will. But the act of transformation is a magical one. It is a spell and thus requires a mage's talents. Indeed, you could learn the spells required if I cared to teach you. Do you spend a lot of time there as an There were animal? nights when the wilds called to me, it is true. You look upon the world around you and you think you know it well. I have smelled it as a wolf, listened as a cat. Proud shadows that you never dreamed existed. But my life is as a human. I am under no illusions to the contrary. And what other animals think you they do of you when shy you away from me? To their senses, I believe I seem like any other of their species. As to what they think, I truly cannot say. Just as I am still human, no matter my form, they are still animals. Thus, they cannot speak, even were I to ask. I've never heard of magic like that before. No? Tis not unheard of in the remote corners of the world. There are traditions of magic outside of the circle of magi, despite what those mages would have you believe. Some of these traditions are old, indeed, passed down as carefully guarded law from one generation to the next. The zealots of the Chantry would uproot all such practitioners if they could. But as luck have it, some still exist. My mother is such a one. By protectors, you mean apostates, don't Not you? Not all apostates use the forbidden blood arts. Maleficarum do, but to condemn all who do not fall under the circle's thrall for the sake of what might be is a dangerous path to walk. There are those who look on the word apostate as meaning freedom. That's all I want to ask. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities, then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? I think your abilities sound quite useful. A most practical opinion. Far more so than any man I have spoken to. But enough of such talk. Let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Yeah, that'd be true. Hey, at least she approved. So we got the talking to her. Da -da. Alright, I think we need to sleep. Or what's the next task that we need to do? Mark active. Okay, we're gonna do this. Alright, I think we've done enough uh, talking about. Let's go here. I mean, who knows? Might find something? Look, uh, can we talk for a moment? I yes. need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What's on your mind? I told mind? you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because... Well, because my father was King Marek. Which made what? Palin my... Half brother, I suppose. What? You don't think you might have told me this before? How? When would I say that? Oh, by the way, King Merrick had sex with a servant and she produced a bastard son. That's me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. I think I understand. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's not like I got special treatment for it anyhow. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. 
Are you sure you're not hiding anything Besides else? Besides my unholy love of fine cheeses and a minor obsession with my hair, no, that's it. Just the prince thing. So I should be called... You're the heir to the throne, then? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a grey warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now, can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. As you command, my oh, prince. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Sorry, <laughs> I had to do that because you did the stupid to me. Okay. So, apparently... Apparently... I thought I what? saw travelers coming down the road, though I scarcely believed it. Have you come to help us? I'm on... I'm on poor Miss. I need to see. Are... Then you, you... You don't know. Has nobody out there heard? Heard what? We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting. And dying. Apparently, everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on. What is this evil that's attacking you? I, 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 I don't like to really know. know. I'm sorry. Nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Van Tegan, our Lehman's brother. He's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. Okay. So not only is Alistair a prince. People are under attack. The Arl is sick. My head hurts. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the Arl. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though not for long if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. Ugh. You don't believe Loghain? What, that he pulled his men right? in order to save them? That Caelan risked everything in the name of glory? <laughs> Hardly. Loghain calls the Grey Wardens traitors, murderers of the king. I don't believe it. It is an act of a desperate man. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're yes. here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. I can help dr you How drive them back. pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. I want to discuss the situation with you. Of course. You have some of Earl... I have those few who returned from their quest. You know of this, yes? Quest? Eamon's illness was... 
is very serious. The Arlesa, out of desperation, sent the knights on a quest for a cure. I know little about this, other than that the cure was supposed to be an ancient relic of great power. Sir Perth was one of the knights sent on this quest. Perhaps you should speak to him if you wish to learn more. So... Why are you in the Chantry with the villagers? Sir Perth insists. He wants me to be with the villagers, so everyone he needs to protect is in one place. I don't mind, to be honest. The point of all this is to protect the villagers, and I can do that best here. This is the last line of defense, should things go amiss. Won't that look cowardly? I'm not here for glory. I would prefer being outside, but Perth has a point. We could bring some men in to stand beside me, but I'd rather keep the monsters away from the villagers if possible. So what happens after this battle? Hopefully we can find the source and stop it before it causes any more damage. With luck, we'll also find Eamon and be able to help him. What exactly are these things that attack the I village? Do not know. They seem to be walking corpses, men with mm. rotting flesh that continue to attack even with the gravest injuries. Undead spirits possessing the dead. There could be several causes behind such a thing, none of them pleasant. I should get back to work. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. All right, so it saves there. Whoa, Alistair approves, Morgana disapproves. Ileana approves. Okay. O okay. Markle is red. Okay, so basically. Mark that is active. I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Soon. When are the bad men? Don't worry. Don't when are the bad men coming? What are we going to do? Silence, girl. Okay. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Are you all right? Why are those, you crying? Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible. You poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. Don't worry, I'll look you for will. him. Thank you so much. Please find him. The night is coming. Father the is outside defending return. the village from the bad men. We Let us pray. Mother you Hannah. Are of elven blood and a stranger. Yet you defend a home that is not your own. We are grateful for that. Is there a reason I shouldn't help? I have my own reasons here. I cannot stand by while monsters Not attack many and help in us. these modern days would honestly say the same. You are a woman of worth, and the Maker will smile upon you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am revered Mother Hannah, head of this Chantry, which for the moment is a place of refuge for these poor villagers. How awful this must be for you all. Is this everyone who's left? All those who cannot defend themselves, yes. They are terrified of tonight's attack, and I fear these walls will not keep them safe. What can I do to help with your task? I would like a blessing, Mother. You would? That is, I mean, of course, I'd be happy to. Blessed art thou who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, Sacrifice to the holy flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. I guess so. Why haven't Mother and Father returned? Very yet? well. They're they're gone, dear boy. Gone on a long trip. <laughs> I'm like getting like XP just like looking up books here. Books everywhere. Books, books, books. Can we look at all the books? Books, 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 books. Okay. Let's look like we need a fight. Let's go out and look for the boy. Ah. You know, we don't have the men. Still no sign of them coming back Their from the numbers castle, just keep growing each night. Tell them to maintain watch. I want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. It's not yes, just Redcliffe having trouble, is it? Pray. I've heard the news. For a miracle. These are dark times, 
Oh, goodness. Okay, where is the boy? Where is the boy? There's something over here. No? Darn it! Come on. Oh, there's a barrel. Give me the mushroom. Where is the boy? Where is the boy? Hello? Break open the lock. Makes sense. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. I apologize, I didn't mean Apology any accepted. Mom. The name's Dwin. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. What are you doing? Surviving. Shut up in here. We have supplies to last for quite some time. And my boys and I can swing a weapon better than any of those fools out there. You'll die in here just as easy as you would out there. You should be out there helping defend Fine. the village. When did this town ever rush to my rescue? Let's see if they'll come rushing in when I attack. You're coward. You look more than competent. With you out there, they don't really need me, do they? Can't I change your mind? Either die out there or here. I've had enough of you strutting around like you own the place. Come on, boys. This ends now. Ah! Really, oh. really, people? Ah! Are we going to be dumb? Just die already! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I kind of needed to. Watch out! There we go. Y'all suck. Let me out. Let's keep that for later. Let's go. That wasn't fun. I'm trying to find a little boy here, and they're all just like, yeah, room. Away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Who are I'm you? I'm the bloody blacksmith and this is my shop. There's nothing of interest here anymore, whoever you are. So you best move along. I'd like to speak with you. Can I come in? Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. All right, Good. I'll go. And don't come back. Uh, that sucked. Also, I'm gonna go ahead with the journal here. Also, where am I going? Where am I going? Thank you. Da -da 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 -da. So you're the Grey Warden, are you? I didn't yep. think they made women Grey Wardens. I'm not here to chat. What can I do to help? We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. See what I'd I can appreciate do. appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. 
What good will that do anyone then? Yep. Hmm. Caitlin's house. Okay, there's got to be something in here. Go away. This isn't your home. This is my home. My <laughs> home, you hear me? Bevan, is how, that you? How do you know my name? I spoke to did, your sister in the Chantry. Did she tell you to take me back to the Chantry? Don't make me go back there. I hate that place. I hate it. Why do you hate the Chantry Everybody's so much? Scared. But they tell me I shouldn't be scared. And they tell me I shouldn't be sad that Mother died. I... I don't want to be sad. I'm brave. I'm going to be a hero. I'm going to fight them off. I will. From in there? No. no. I just heard you coming and... I guess that's not very brave of me, is it? I'll... I'll come out now. <laughs> All right. I came out. You won't hurt me, will you? I'll go back to the Chantry if you really want. First tell me, what were you doing out I, there? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Are you sure? Maybe I can help you. No, I won't tell you. And you can't make me. You can't. Hmm. All right, so we found the little boy. I mean, stubborn. Hmm. Can you lock it? Can you? Nope. Very well. Hmm. Interesting. Also, get that off. Time to go down. Okay. Let's go see if we can convince the blacksmith again. Be good, I said. Don't you try to come in here. No. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. You just come barging into my home. I've no money and nothing of value to take, as you can plainly see. So if you're here to beat on a sad old man, then all I ask is you get on with it. I don't have much to live for as it is. The militant needs your Why help desperately. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Valena, is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. So you intend to drink yourself? I will rescue your daughter. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you to go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damned thing. And I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. I promise I'll, I'll find her. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Can I stab right, you, Morgana? It seems Seriously? I have some work to do, relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. 
I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Awesome. Of course you disapprove, but so what? He needs his daughter back, you flipper. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we yep. need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. We're not only ready, we're Murdoch. We're going to win. We'll do our best. We'll fight until we can't fight anymore. However long that is. You'll find him and his men at the okay. mill by the bridge to the north. Right. Let's hope we see morning. Yeah. Also, Morgana, you just don't like when, uh, when other people actually want to, you yeah, know, be nice. Where are you going? I thought you were going to help us. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, it looked like you were. If you did leave, I doubt we'd still be here when you got back. I'm just saying. Okay, so I was heading in the wrong direction. Okay. Now let's go see if the, um... Bevan said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. Just stay safe, the both of you. Sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. <sighs> Yay! Quest complete. Now we go into the other quest. Sir Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. I must admit, I do not know how to address an elf in your position. I do not wish to be rude. I don't care what you call me. <laughs> I am Sir Perth, until recently in direct service of Arl Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes... Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well, with a great warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. I'll see what I can do. That gladdens my heart to hear it. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. As Carry you on. wish, Grey Warden, make a watch over you. A lot of talking. No word from the castle? No, all is still as it has been oh, today. sort of like... They're coming home again, but with more undead. As though there is nothing there but death. Say no more. The arm. Okay, let's see here. Lives, and I will not listen to your inauspicious chatter. Okay, so I did see something over here. Yeah, I saw this place. Ooh, what's this? Very well. Woohoo! Got some herbs. Can I open the door? No. Oh, darn you. Alright. Let's go back to our task at hand here. What is it you need, child? You would? That is, I mean, of course, I'd be happy to. Blessed We've already art seen thou this. Who exists in the Maker's sight. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed art thou who seeks his return. Blessed is the prophetess, his daughter, sacrificed to the holy flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears 
and tell him of our contrition. Okay. What is it you need, child? Uh... I have done all I one. can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. Oh. What do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures. A shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean mm -hmm. you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. I suppose you're Indeed. right. I know Sapath means well, but I will not lie to him about something so important. I would... Just how safe is it? It is the trip. sturdiest building in the village. The women, elderly, and children will stay here during the battle while the militia and knights protect them. They set up a barricade outside the Chantry to keep monsters from getting inside. If anything gets in, Van Tegan is our only defense. Please, have mercy. Help these people. Do whatever you can. I should go. May the Maker watch over you, child. Okay. So, basically... She can't lie to them? Which sucks. So, which I can understand. That would never be fun. So, I'm going to go back to him. And see what he, what he says. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Have you spoken to the revered mother? Has she offered anything? Mother Hannah does not believe she can help you. I see. Then I suppose we must simply rely on our own prayers. The Maker will not help us. Thank you for your efforts. We shall fight on, nevertheless. I'm ready to make my stand here. There is here. still time before the sun goes down. If you have not yet spoken to Murdoch, or if there is anything you have planned, Uh, perhaps you're right. Good. Go do whatever you must and return before it is time. I will be here. Yeah, why not? All right. Maybe we can find something in here. Well. As it seems, we're gonna be waiting until nightfall. Y'all ready for this? All right, it's nightfall. Things are starting to go down. They're coming. Get to your positions. Make ready. As they're coming slowly. All right, who's ready to fight? I shall do it. Back up, back up. Another battle I you should try while you can, as you say. It is begun. Oh, darn it, I'm dead. I see. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, 
This is not fun. This is not fun at all. Okay, I finally did it. The monsters are attacking from the lake. They're attacking the barricades. We need help. Nice, Come stay on. here. We need to hurry. Okay, no. Oh my, they are attacking. Seven. I'm going back away! I'm about to set something on fire! Okay, where's the bad? Where's the bad? Where's the bad? There's the five. Take off. Take off for a minute. Right away. Back away. Back away. You. You okay? You know what? It is begun. It is begun. I shall do it. As you said, it is begun. Very well. Come on, man. Uh. Two hours later. Going to save it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do like this video, hit that thumbs up and let me know. Also, leave in the comments down below what you guys think. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.